Hello and welcome to MFTV with me, Alex Varney, where, as usual, we will be taking you through all the news and gossip in today's papers. First off, we start with The Sun, which features reaction to last night's game between Manchester City and West Ham. The Sun focuses on classy Carlos Tevez, who said sorry to Hammers fans after scoring the first of his two goals in the 3-1 win at Eastlands. The Mirror and the Mail also focus on Tevez's respectful reaction to scoring against his former club and how his behaviour was in stark contrast to Emmanuel Adebayor's after scoring against Arsenal. We wonder if Tevez would have been quite so respectful had he scored against Manchester United. Perhaps not. An interesting story in the back page of the Mail, Arsene Wenger has refused to splash the cash despite having £50 million to spend. Wenger thinks the Gunner squad is already good enough to compete at the top, but I'm not so sure. In fact, I think they have as much chance of winning the league as Jordan has of winning back Peter Andre. But hey, that's only my opinion. You can have your say on what you think about Wenger's stance at mirrorfootball.co.uk forward slash opinion. Wenger also features heavily in The Guardian this morning with the Frenchman saying the decision to appoint him Arsenal boss 13 years ago was a crazy one as he was a virtual unknown. It didn't work out too bad, I suppose, though, did it? On to some transfer news now, and it seems Ben Foster's season could be about to get a whole lot worse. The Sun say Manchester United boss Sir Alex Ferguson has lined up Sporting Lisbon stopper Rui Patricio as Edwin van der Sar's long-term replacement. Foster's shaky start to the season has certainly not helped his hopes of being United's long-term number one. Meanwhile, the Mirror's main transfer story involves Nigel Rio Coker, who could be given a welcome escape route from Aston Villa by Fulham following his training ground bust up with Martin O'Neill. Would he be a good signing for Fulham? And Villa fans, would, be, would you be happy to see him go? Let us know what you think. And finally, have you ever wondered what a Nigerian gangster film version of Chelsea v Liverpool would look like? Of course you have. Check out the brilliant trailer. We can't wait for the movie. Sure you shoot yourself with 